Lucky Boys Podcast. I mean, I always loved pit bulls. I grew up around a lot of pit bulls, and I just knew they were awesome dogs, right? Can they be extremely aggressive? Absolutely. Can they have a tendency to hurt people because they're so physically gifted? Absolutely. But what a lot of people don't know about pit bulls, and I'm sure you can attest to this, is that they're very extreme, both sides. Nice, yep. So they could be, and at the same time, so they could be extremely athletic and extremely goofy. Oh yeah, <laughs> they could be. They could be very mean and intimidating, but like little pussy cats yes. and super loving. Yep. And and, that's, and it all depends. You know, it comes down to how you raise the pit bull. You know, it, it really does. If if you keep a high energy dog at home all the time. It's going to be destructive. Exactly. Like any other kid. Like, not even just pit bulls, any working class dog, right? Shepherd, co- uh, collies, any high energy dog, if you keep them cooped up in an apartment, don't exercise, don't walk them properly. Even for a normal human being, right. being cooped up, in a, being cooped up, you get built up a lot of anxiety and you just get a lot right. of destructive energy. Right. And they have more energy, energy. than people. So, mm-hmm. so you have to make sure you. Give them exercise. Give them the walk. You have to tire them out. A tired dog is a happy, happy dog. dog. Yeah, because their mind is, I need to be doing something. Right. Think of it as someone with AD, ADHD or something. They need to be constantly doing something. Or else they're just going to have that energy of this is going to turn negative. Like, you pent up a lot. Like, that's what they're bred for, to work, mm-hmm. to move. They're not okay. bred to, like, sit around no. and do nothing. No. And that's the key. To, to and I'm And I'm saying, like... There's so many. On the contrary, pitbulls weren't raised to attack humans. When back in the day, when when they were uh, building a fighting dog, um, actually, if a pitbull turned on its owners and bit people, they put those dogs mm-hmm. down immediately. Yep. Uh, that wasn't a trait that they wanted when they started create when they were creating the breed. Mm-hmm. So they just got the ones that were had the highest drive and were and did excellent in the in the ring in the pit, mm-hmm. which is hence the name pit bull so you want they wanted to create the best pound for pound fighting dog mm. and they got it in a pit bull mm-hmm. and here but the thing about the pit bull is that they just have an extreme nature about them they have an extreme willingness to please a lot of people have this preconceived notion uh, that is completely incorrect about pit bulls where they're uh they killers attack you, they attack if they humans. taste blood they go crazy. They're, like they're not they're a fuck, shark. Like they're fucking sharks. <laughs> or or if they, all oh, their jaws lock. Mm-hmm. There's no locking yeah. me- mechanism in a pit bull's jaw. Mm. You know, that's, that that bite force that, that people see or, or feel or when they mm-hmm. see on the, when they're biting on ropes or anything, it that's just pure drive. drive. Mm-hmm. That's all, that energy is pure drive. Yep. That's, that's what they were built for. You know, they just want to please and they are loving dogs. They actually make terrible guard dogs. Mm. For the most part, right. I wouldn't go test That's it, it. Yep. but but any dog owner knows or anybody that knows about the breed, people usually don't get pit bulls as guard dogs. No, you you need two dogs if you want a guard dog and want you, you want one. If anything, the pit bull will, will <laughs> show you around the house, let you rob the whole thing. So if I had a couple slices of pizza and I just step in, it depends on the it, it depends. depends on but the for the most most pit bulls, like a better because they're instinctually is not mm-hmm. to guard the house. Mm-hmm. They might bark a little bit, but you open the door. They're going to wag their t- tail and, you know, invite Yeah, as you long in. as you don't look menacing. Right, right. Because yeah. they read by I mean, yeah, they're right. obviously not stupid. If you're, like, sneaking and shit, mm-hmm. they're going to, you know, go nuts. Yeah. yeah. But, well, yeah, I would get, like, a more appropriate... I would get a German Shepherd. I would, and I love pit bulls. A Doberman. But, yeah, if I was like looking that. for a guard dog, I'd get Doberman, uh, Akita, Rottweiler. Rottweiler would be my number one mm-hmm. choice. Mm-hmm. And, or, or a Shepherd, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Or, you know, I, I wouldn't get something... Like a pitbull to guard wow. my house. I would get a pitbull because I just love how goofy they are. The loyal, the level of loyalty, loyalty they the have, love, the unconditional, love, unconditional love. And I tell, I tell you, both my pitbulls look. I mean, they they were so protective. And and uh, mm-hmm. my, the one that I most recently had, like I have videos where my, my girls were just like in their face and pulling on a dog, and she just took it. She completely loved mm-hmm. both my girls. Obviously, because I'm not a irresponsible father. Mm-hmm. You know, my if they show if my dogs ever show any sign of aggression yep. towards my girls, I would go absolutely ballistic and get rid of it. If anything, my, my Shih Tzu shows more aggression towards my girls. <laughs> you know, because Megatron, that's my Shih Tzu's name. Megatron <laughs> is not having it. Like he's not going to be able to take. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a little Shih Tzu. He's yeah. not going to let the girls like you know rip them apart Different like a, like a stuffed animal. Yeah. yeah. So, but but I'll tell you what, Megatron, my Shih Tzu. Every time Elliot 
Whenever she cried as a baby, even now, if she cries and whines, Me- Mega cries with her. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, mates. Megatron cries with her. He literally, when she's crying, like, rah, 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 and he goes, mm-hmm. he just starts howling, he starts crying. Like, that actually sounds really adorable. Yo, it's the cutest thing. First time he did that, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> He loves the girls, man. You could train that as like, hey, Mega, sing. Yeah, man. He love. He only does it. <laughs> Mega cry when 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 Ellie is crying. Mm. When Jordan like he doesn't. Yeah. When well, Ellie is crying, interesting. He goes mm. off. He goes that off. He howls and has, cries with her. Was there a special connection? Did he like? Did Mega go up to her, like kind of snuggle with her, nothing like when they were I growing saw. up or when she was growing up? Nothing that I saw. Yeah. I mean, like he just hangs out with us, and and uh, I mean they know we're family. Well, we're like a pack, mm-hmm. but. Uh, you know, that's Mega's favorite nothing. then I don't know Mega's favorite is my wife <laughs> <laughs> he, he's connected to her like oh, okay. he is like so this is how we did when Megatron was a puppy we were we went to a park to a big field out in Queens and we're going on a trail or like a little hiking trail in Queens and and I was like you know what let me see I was like yo yo Lise I was like why don't you go down there I'm gonna go over here because at, at that point Megatron was like very um, neutral to both of us mm-hmm. and and so Lisa went down there. I went down there. Megatron literally in the middle, and he starts walking. Or we're both calling him, and he starts call. And I and I call him, and he's looking both ways, and he starts walking to me. And I'm like, yeah, and 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 then he stops. He he goes like maybe like like thirty uh, percent closing in on me, mm-hmm. and then he stops, looks at me one more time, and then just doubles back, <laughs> beeline straight to Lisa. So. Ever since then, I swear, ever since then, it could not be more clear that that he chose her, like, way above me. Before, it was very neutral. I'm like, damn, maybe I should have never did that test. Mm-hmm. But it's weird. It's weird with dogs. Like, that day when we did that test, he clearly decided. My loyalty stands. With her. He bent the knee. He bent the knee. <laughs> yeah. the knee. Yep. When she takes a shower, mm-hmm. when she's in the bathroom, whatever, in the morning getting ready for work, Boom. He's sitting right outside the door. So what do you think make in that moment made him choose Lisa over well, you? Well, he had to pick where he wanted to go, whether to, to you know, her or me. You know, and if it's Moet, it's me all day. You know, she, she'll choose me over everyone. Mm-hmm. It's not even mm-hmm. close. But uh, Megatron, he was a little bit conflicted, and it was while he was still a pup. But when he made that choice, went to her, it, we, we did the same test over and over and he pick her but like this time no hesitation just go straight to her mm-hmm. he wouldn't even look at me eventually i was like you know what f this dog that's your, that's <laughs> your dog now say. He's stopped listening to you. that's your dog now. that's her yeah that's, that's your responsibility I was like, that's it no more haircuts nothing i'm not maintaining his ass that's, that's all you i'm not petting you <laughs> i'm not, yeah, I'm not cool feeding boy. you <laughs> yeah man I mean, you know what i should probably try that with my kids <laughs> <laughs> Put them in the middle. Do, do you really want to know the answer? Do you want to know the answer? 